Hello and welcome for gamers. My name is Borek and this is another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival Space Adventures of Experimental Branch of Alpha 12 Phase 4 with additional updates. Welcome from the end of the galaxy. Galaxy known to us from the previous episodes and yesterday Ilion Studios released a another version of the Phase 4 of experimental branch and right now we don't have fake playfield skyboxes we can witness the beauty of the galaxy that we are in with all the stars and nebulas that are in your galaxy isn't that wonderful isn't that beautiful i think it's overwhelming and it is fun freaking Fantastic, right, except for those markers that I still don't know how to remove because thank you guys for all the information about uh, markers and such, but I was not able to remove those, find them and yeah, get rid of them. Nevertheless, I've tried to go to Legacy Empire, tried to try to reach them because basically that was my aim for this, for this gameplay and as i said i am on the edge of the known galaxy right next i think in one of the star systems that are closest to the um legacy empire but unfortunately i cannot jump there because all the stars are just way too far away from those two systems i have like 40 light years uh, they are distant 40 light years and there is no way with my warp drive unless I have some sort of a upgrade that I would be able to get there because information in the warp drive it says that jump range it maximum jump range 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 is 30 light years or 50 astronomical units and that kind of a sucks it really does because well I can even see it from over here, but I cannot get it. Not to mention what is really interesting. In our galaxy, we have those mm, star names with classes of those stars like MK, G, F and uh, BG, no, no, BH, like black hole and K and B and stuff. But if we go to... Legacy Empire, it's like N1A. Let's get a bit closer. N1A, O1A. Unfortunately, I cannot get any more information about that since they are too far away. And if I just hover around here at the edge of Legacy Empire, all the stars that are right next to those is, as you can see, distant more than 40 or around 40 light years away from here in each direction because over there there's nothing let's go on the other side we have like two stars over there ramu gamma 55 light years uh, and the other one that's 60 that's 43 still that is far more than what we can use with ordinary warp drive and that kind of a sucks it really does sucks big time nevertheless in today's episode we are in the star system that have a junk where was that information not this one we are in class junkyard type space sector which is really cool i wondered well i need some stuff uh, most probably i will have to move to another save game but still, I want to continue with this one because I'm not getting all the goodies that were introduced with the latest update. But still, I just wanted to get to the legacy. And unfortunately, I cannot get there. So I found this junkyard and I wanted, hey ho, let's not, why not go there? So there's quite a lot of wreckages over here. And also, I have found this artifact uh, that is really, really cool. Let me just go inside and make a beep. Um, there's really a lot of wreckages around here somewhere. Um, so that thing that we are right next is just an artifact and most probably all of those things except for those uh, freighters or uh, um, other type of orbital 
uh, stations, uh, most probably Xyrex. I found this as a artifact uh, in the top right corner on my screen. You can see a different icon. So I went there and un instead of what I have found previously, like three question marks, this is an artifact. I know that I cannot do much about that, but you guys told me that with the god mode I could go inside and there's absolutely nothing. Um, so if there's absolutely nothing, let's go there and let's see what we can do. If I could blow up one of those things. Uh, maybe we will just spawn ourselves inside, go inside, have a look. Uh, maybe there's actually something. I know that I could do something like that. Yep. Slide those explosives inside or even just make a magic. And go inside and see that actually there is only a fuel tank and a generator in those cubes. Right. <laughs> ah, whoa! Jeez Louise, I don't know why there's artificial gravity still going on in the, gra in the galaxy. But hey ho, what can you do? Right, so those cubes, they don't serve any purpose, at least right now. Uh, but maybe in the future there's going to be something. I have found one of the planets around here at the edge with a really cool information. That's not it, this one. Multi, uh, multiple anti-aircraft stars detected. During planet's formation, most of the heavy elements sink down to the core. I would like to go there. That's barren metal class of a planet. And I think we might find something useful over there. So let me just look at that one. It's over there. Ah, oh, I so wish I could go to that legacy sector, but unfortunately that is no go for me right now. Oh, it is a bit crippled, our lovely, lovely ship. It's more than just a barely. What I also found out, I remember that attack, um, those drones attacked me when I approached orbital station. Well, apparently they destroyed my auto station, so in between videos I had to go back um, to that orbital station and snatch um, and snatch one of the one of the um, O2 stations that were over there and also I have found a few wreckages with cool goodies uh, one of them actually had a drill uh, on it uh, and if you remember from the past when I was mining gold well I would like to uh, I wanted to get my hands on it and since I don't want to unlock stuff I just want to salvage stuff well, I was able to, what is it, to find a wreckage with two repair bays for the uh, capital vessel, which is great. I'm going to get one of those things and plant it on my stuff. This XL truster that can barbecue me in no time. I think I'm going to just skip. I'm going to put RCS because I was wondering if I could put like maybe additional uh, required every vessel for turning. If I would put RCS Mark II, would that extend my warp jump? I don't know, if you have any information about that, please let me know in the comment section down below, that would be very, very useful. But where's that turret? Where did I put it? Uh, not turret, mining. Mining, oh, there it is. I found on that wreckage rocket launcher for the capital vessel and the drill module, which is absolutely awesome and fantastic. And I would like to, uh, I would like to put it somewhere, not to mention that I've made myself a teleporter since I've unlocked it and it should be in my cargo box, uh, production cargo box, there it is. So let me just pop it down here somewhere if that is even a thing that I could do. But why I can't, oh, there's uh, this one. So taking that into consideration, I think I'm going to salvage this and just put my lovely teleporter thingy over here right next to the core. What do you mean we are under attack? Teleport not possible for 5-10 seconds. We're not under attack, I've just placed you, God damn it! What kind of a stupid thing that is. Press F to use teleport. Unfortunately, I don't have any teleports, teleport stations in this sector, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, now, let me just go and plant down this drill, because that might be of a use. 
in the near future. This place looks absolutely awesome and fantastic for this purpose. I'm gonna remove those two things and place down the drill. Bam, bada beam, bada boom, look at that. It will look absolutely awesome and fantastic. And on the other side, I could actually put down the rocket launcher. Although my ship is not best for turning, but it will do just great on this side as a counter. Ah, oh, isn't that great? Isn't that great? My crap tone is getting some, some proper weapons and turrets. Right. I could use some sort of a flak turret, but I don't know if I can find any wreckages with some sort of a... Uh, with devices like that. What I really don't like What I really don't like about the hotbar is that my My detector is always on some sort of a weird Key bindings. I really would like to set those up. Maybe there is an option if you do know that Please let me know in the comment section down below, but I really would like to have my detector on hotbar one because usually you start off uh, if you go into the ship um, the key binding always will change to one and for example over here that is a drill mine mining drill uh, but then on my small vehicle it's a minigun so if that would be something else maybe like flak cannon or rocket launcher and if you misclick and you forget that you have to reassign that key you will lose some part of an ammunition and in my opinion that kind of sucks but this metal planet looks absolutely awesome. It is all rusty and irony like uh, Mars. Probably w not with such a huge amount of um, iron, but still. And look at that. One part of the universe since we, we are at the end. Oh, that's... Uh, I want to go there. And in the back... We are moving away from those nebulas and stars and the central part of a system. Oh, that is one heck of a view, don't you think? As long as I don't crash on the planet, everything is going to be just great. Now, how far are we? Two clicks away. Fine. That's not that bad. I'm going to go on the surface and search for something, look for something. Maybe there's going to be some sort of a... Well, oh, not that one. I'm gonna look for some interesting POIs. Maybe we'll be able to, you know, find something cool that we could raid and have some fun with Xyrex and other type of guys over there, guys and girls. Although no, there are no girls in uh, in Imperium. I mean, I mean, no force. So this is metal surface type of a planet. How interesting and intriguing. There are some resources. Let me just get a bit closer. That looks more like arid type of a planet. Well, maybe a bit metal in a way. Also, with the latest update of Empyrean, we got two more ores, aluminum and platinum. So for now they are just uh, collectible uh, resources that you can just have, but eventually they will be of a use for everybody that is playing the game. I'm most probably in the stable branch of, of Empyrean, right? What do we have? A restroom, small deposit, but still good to know. There should be some. But now the question is about POIs. Now I also wanted there's some silicon and some pentaxite on the surface. Mm, let me just check. This is not that big of a planet. There's a POI of some sort. I'm not going to be putting a waypoint because I don't know how to remove them. Sorry. I'm not the best at that, but still. I know how to kill myself. <laughs> Sometimes survive, but usually I do kill myself in a stupid way like cook myself over the thruster that is huge as a house where's that POI there it is I think it's a crashed ship 
a part of a ship. Crashed transport front. Ah, front. I don't like fronts. I like backs. <laughs> because front... I don't think it does have anything special over here. I don't see any creatures. I don't hear any creatures. Although, as I have uh, seen before, Xyrex do roam places, even if they don't own... do roam lands, even if it, they don't own them. Ooh, 30 millimeter bullets. That's nice because I have 30 mm, 30 millimeter cannon, and I wanted to place that repair station as well. And I completely forgot about that. Sorry, but I don't think it will actually work without that control station that you also have to build or have. Radiation on this planet, on the other hand, is quite high. No, I don't see anything. Anything of an interest. Let me just fly about this planet. Ah, see, that's what I told you about earlier when I wanted to do this gun and instead I just shot my minigun. Fortunately, these cost absolutely nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna go around, have a look what we can find over here. Maybe I will find a resource or two because there is supposed to be... Oh, gold! Nice. Gold, copper, that's cobalt. A restroom. So yeah, let me just have a look. What do we have over here? What we have at our disposal? And if I will do something, find something interesting, I will let you guys, of course, know. Stay tuned. I will be just right back. There's nothing over there. What? Crashed capital vessel. Well, that's just great. Hmm. Well, actually, there is crashed capital vessel, but I'm not going to be digging it out. No, sorry. I'm going to look for something else. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that planet over there in the distance. That is absolutely awesome. But the skybox is still the same. As it was previously in the night time. Still going for a search. Alrighty, I've returned from the planet. I have found nothing over there. No POIs, no other stations except for those two crashed vehicles. Just some resources. But as you know, I'm not too keen on mining, at least not in this gameplay. So as I said, uh, I wanted to place down that repair station that I can, because I can. Is there something? Oh, I wonder if that is gonna be airtight. I hope it will. So, I do have a repair bay, but I don't have any control station for it. And that kind of sucks. Because if I don't have it, then I cannot use it. Because you can use it only with combination. With the repair console. Repair console. Because I think as far as I remember that worked only if you had your blueprint saved. So if I do this and save template. Of course it's not great because it's missing some stuff. But if I cause any damage, then there's still no, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I remembered in the past that it was just auto-repairing, but now you need resources actually to put inside the command control in order to repair your ship. So that doesn't make any difference if I put that pad over there. I still have to unlock, unlock that repair console. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You let me know, guys, what to do in the comment section down below. I'm just going to be unlocking essentials like CPU extenders and such. I don't know how long this will continue. I mean, this gameplay, since uh, I think Experimental Branch is coming to an end, I reckon it's going to be more like two weeks um, to continue that thing, that operation style. 
but yeah, we should say it's gonna go. I'm looking forward to start a full stable branch gameplay as soon as it's, as soon as it is released because I don't want to constantly move my stuff from one word to another. Now let's just have a look if that changed anything in terms of in terms of in terms of of course distance that I can travel with more with my warp drive. Now if I just choose the edge of the galaxy that edge. What? How come I have low fuel? Ooh. Oh shoot. Um Okay. That's odd. Let's fill those tanks. But I can see that CPU usage is way over, just a bit over a limit. CPU statistics, RCS. Oh, it took like 75,000. Right. Okay, so what I could throw away? Doors. Just 1,000. 1,000. I have two auto stations. Where do I have second one? One detector, fuel tank. I don't need so many fuel tanks. Generators, drill, rocket launcher, projectile turrets. They take 5,000 each? Containers. Oh. Hold on the farmer. Right. Turn on the power. Turn on the gravity. I don't think I... Okay, I, I, I need those things. Oh. Hello. Game. Game, you made me stuck. Come on. I need to remove some containers. Even if they look fantastic and awesome, they take so much so much CPU. I'm not going in the garage. I think I had some over here. Oh, I have another one over there. Okay, I can just remove it. Retrieve the block to lower the CPU usage. Those I think I want to keep. But those things? Okay, I have some stuff over here. I don't need this one. I do have some, some stuff in here. Fuel tanks. They look awesome, but they... They take so much CPU. You can go as well. How is it right now? CPU? Oh, just under the limit. That should be okay. That should be okay. Now, that RCS. I wanted to check if we can do something about time travel or actually travel to the end of the universe. So if we go back again over here, select that universe thing here, Jig. Uh, I won't be able to travel from this location. And I lock that target that's 38 light years away and see what that guy will tell me. Fly towards and no. Maximum jump distance 30 light years away. Hmm, that is a shame. Okay, guys, so up next. What is up next? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to jump into new save and continue um, our Krapton adventure with pirates and going to the central part of, of the universe? Or we stay over here and you want me to try and find something interesting in those last pieces of civilization over in here? If you have any ideas, let me know. Please let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment with the gameplay, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see. And I hope that we will see each other in the next episode when we'll continue our awesome adventure with this awesome game. So till then, crazy, have fun and happy gaming. Ta-ra! That looks absolutely epic.